And hello to you from southwestern Germany. We're in Stuttgart at the Mercedes Benz Arena. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It is Stuttgart, and they take on Sevilla. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And so the Stuttgart starting 11. Well, the player that needs to affect the game is the one at the top of the midfield, Diamond. If he can get on the ball and dictate the play, they should control this match. And this is how Sevilla will line up. In goal, it's Marco Dimitrovic. Ivan Rakitic plays alongside Joan Jordan in central midfield. And it's an interesting-looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. And the contest begins. Nicely timed tackle. Suso. Rakitic. Can he make a count? And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today. Well, I don't think he did quite enough there. He got a touch on it, but in the end, he can't keep it out. He won't be happy with that. Now the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Beauty. That's useful play. Really vital interception. Nemanja Gudel. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Atakan Karazor. Very quick thinking there. Suso. Just the challenge that was required. Bonna Sosa. And he takes it away. Jesus Navas. Rakitic. Ocampos. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. Good work from Sevilla to win it back. Yusuf and Nesiri. And given away. Tellez. Now with Rakitic. 
and teammates around him. Wataru Endo. Difficult to stop him. Able to get a body in the way. And on the verge of hearing the half-time whistle, and they've mostly silenced the home crowd. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And there we have it. That will be all for the first half here in Stuttgart. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. The second half is underway here. Sevilla with the lead. And this is Navas. Danger averted. Oh, super piece of play. Simple catch, really. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Suso. And Rakitic trying to ask questions. And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. And they're making a change. And short it is. And cut again from the flank. And what a close shave it was. Chris Fury. Now, what can they do from here? And it's with Wagnerman. And opting for power over placement, but not the desired result. Here it is now, a substitution. Lucas Ocampos. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And in the perfect position to read it. Marcos Acuna. Oh, they've lost it. Now, options are plenty. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Well, they've decided to make a change. Marcos Acuna. Well, couldn't keep it in.
Rakitic. Can they create something from here? A fine reading of the situation. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left and the margin just one. And looking towards the back post. Plattered away. Just the challenge that was required. to Rome on the wing could cross it in here <laughs> and there it is the final whistle not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today defeat for them well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Yeah, he deserved to score the winner today because he was a real handful. He's running off the ball and awareness of space were excellent. Very impressive.